Starting to have fun at least, right? <laughs> Just shut the fuck up at this point. I'd, I'd settle for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. So let's go. Why are you high fiving now? You guys are like the corniest couple I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, he got him. Yeah, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's on. You guys are distracting me. Okay. Girl over the house. First time alone. Don't want to look at this fucking guy. I end up looking at her. Thinking about a blowjob. I'm not the kind of guy to ask for a blowjob, folks. I'm not. I'm just a whip my dick out and see what happens kind of guy. I'm a gambler. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Let's turn it into a party right now. I don't know. I mean, I'm not doing that at like school parks or anything. This lady's looking at me weird. Just in the privacy of my own home. And I knew this girl was going for it, too, because as soon as her mouth was like going down toward my dick, I got really nervous. My dick's about to go in her mouth, and I don't know why, folks, but I'm thinking about doing a wrestling impression. I don't know why. It's popping in my head at that point, but it is. So my dick goes in her mouth, it's amazing, and I'm just like, Ooh, yeah. The Macho Man. Beetle Savage. It's gonna dump a load on you. She was a black girl, too. She said, you better not dump shit on my head, boy. Guys, my name is Vinny Beal, alright? I'm your host for this evening. Thank you guys. First comedian coming to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, came all the way from Connecticut with me. He's a very funny dude. I want you guys to give it up right now for the very funny Mr. Scott Bosco, everybody. Give it up for Scott. What's up, everybody? Give it up for Vinny one more time. We're gonna see how this goes. They gave me like a third of a beer before the show, so I'm like pretty wasted right now. I'm a little too, all right? That's the joke. Somebody came up to me once and said, hey man, you look like Captain America before he got the super <laughs> And that's why I dress like the cool guy from the breakfast club, all right? Um, I, someone was like, hey, you look like the Hells Angels lesbian child. <laughs> just my life. I'm not gay, not lesbian or gay. I feel the need to clarify that. Uh, my girlfriend has a very protective family, and for the first three months I was dating her, the only reason they let me around her, I swear this is true, was because I had convinced them all I was gay, and that would have been genius if I had done it on purpose. <laughs> um, I don't mind when gay dudes hit on me. I'm not a homophobe, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, also, my ties are mad expensive, and daddy eats the drink. <laughs> it probably doesn't help the gay thing that I call myself daddy. <laughs> um, does anyone ever watch porn and then get too bummed out to masturbate? <laughs> this woman's like, no, just you. But yeah, you just like open the laptop and you're like, let's do this. Wow, she looks sad. Okay. <laughs> she probably had dreams. But in this economy, who can afford dreams, right? <laughs> what I'm trying to get to is the recession ruins masturbating for me. <laughs> Being so bomb on. <laughs> he just whispered something to her and she was like, yes. So I don't know if he's like, yeah, good credit score for me. I can jerk off still, you know? Like, I'm sorry, you guys are a very attractive couple. When you guys bang, it must be like a Marvin Gaye music video. <laughs> Just sexual healing every night for you. What about like, have you ever seen The Notebook? Is she like the Rachel McAdams to your wounded, but like still sensitive Ryan Gosling? <laughs> That's, he's like, that's exactly, man, thanks, you just broke my next Valentine's Day card. <laughs> I envy you, like, sex, I don't know, does anyone else, like, get bummed out by sex? Has anyone heard the thing, like, sex is like pizza, when it's good, it's good, and when it's bad, it's still pretty good? Nobody? Good. Because that saying's like bullshit. I think sex is more like sushi. Like, you see attractive people having it on TV, and they just all look great. Everyone knows what to do. They're in large groups, and it's not awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I'm gonna try sushi for myself, I guess. And like, first you have to find a clean looking place that's open. <laughs> And then 
and you're like, that's not what it looks like in the pictures, but let's see. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> and you just end up like nauseous and embarrassed. <laughs> and if you buy it at a gas station, like, see a doctor. Come on. <laughs> Uh, you guys want to hear some impressions? Yeah. 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 I'm glad you're on board. Uh, I honestly don't give a shit what you want. <laughs> this dynamic means that I have all the power. So like, what I want to happen is going to happen. Uh, thank you. That's an impression of our president flirting. <laughs> done a couple of good things for the country, in my opinion. Let me finish. <laughs> Does anyone remember when Budweiser did a commercial about how like immigration was okay, and then all the Trump supporters like boycotted Budweiser? And like people were doing the same thing with Coca-Cola and Oreos, because they made commercials supporting gay rights. What I'm getting at is like Trump has made more people make healthy diet choices <laughs> than Michelle Obama did in like eight years of trying to I think we should take advantage of this. Like all we need now is for like potato chips to say they want transgender bathrooms <laughs> and exercise to be like we want a wall. Can you imagine the commercials? Like the average Mexican immigrant can run at least a seven-minute mile. How are you going to kick him out of the country if you can't catch him? <laughs> that he presents the Xenophobia 5K. Go big and go home. <laughs> I'm going to close with a thought. Um, is anyone else Jewish? All right, so you probably know, for those of you who don't know, when you're Jewish, you're not allowed to get tattoos. And the reasoning behind this is God made your body perfect the way it is, and to change anything about it would be like a sin because it was going against God's will. This guy knows. And then, like, this is coming from the same God who's really big on circumcision. There you go. <laughs> which I don't get at all. So my theory is that God, like, so when you're Jewish, you also have to cover your head all the time. My theory is that God just, like, put the tiny hat in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> wrong head, God. Wrong head. All right, you guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much.